Hey guys, Brandon, by the way, that audio guy. Today I'm going to show you how to get that T-Pain auto-tune sound within Logic. And what I like to do with processing pitch correction is I like to have it at the end of my chain, but before reverb and delay. So what does that mean? Well, for example, so here we've got a dry vocal. I'm going to just double click here and maybe do a little bit of processing. And we will throw up a compressor, grab a preset here. There we go. Studio vocal, okay? All right, so here's our vocal dry. This is a temporary fix Cause I don't know where I fit in Awesome. So what do you do to make it sound like T-Pain or get that auto-tune sound? You go right here. Click. Pitch. Pitch correction. And there you go. And you bring it all the way down on this response time, okay? So what is the response time? Well, the response time is how fast it will jump to that pitch. Okay, so the longer you have it, the slower it will go. So, for example, this is a temporary faster. Fix, Cause I don't know where I fit in. And how you use this logic one is you can click on notes and that will disable them. You can also bypass them right there. And you just click and so it will jump to these certain notes. With you by my Sorry, John. Side. That's not how John There's sounds. In my soul. Right? So you can change it to be just certain notes lungs. that you want, which is kind of a cool effect. So if, let's say we only want C and G. My bones. I feel it everywhere and don't know why. And right. I'm so, so then you can also detune and do that kind of stuff. And right here, it will tell you how much it's correcting. Check out the other videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and subscribe to the email list to get special tips, tricks, and exclusive offers for email list people only. Thanks, guys. See you soon.